Speak to the Fremantle champion and captain Nat Fife as he celebrates game 200. The winner of the 2015 Brownlow medal of the 2019 Brownlow medal, Nathan Fife of the Fremantle Football Club. Early days, wanted to be that competitive beast. This finish, it's high quality. You can understand why everyone's raving about this place. Fife opens it up. He is arguably the best in the comp. Uh, just plucks it with a one hand if you don't mind. Trust that fight! Oh, <laughs> you trust he's going to do that. The fight, the combination, the twist, the shimmy, kept it alive, oh. might keep the goal. That's one of the highlights of the year. My game is my game. Just stick to your strengths. Fight breaks through. Speaking of all time, oh, great. What a goal. How good is he? There's lots of smiles throughout the 200 games. I'm looking forward to playing a few more games still to come. Yes, what a journey it's been so far, and the Fremantle superstar has been good enough to join us. Uh, probably a little bit cooler than a Perth morning down there, I would suggest, Nat. <laughs> Thanks for being with us, mate. Brett, congratulations. For me. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty chilly down here. We played in Melbourne last week in similar type icing conditions, so the boys have acclimatised. Obviously, when you won the Brownlow medal, you, you had to tell your story a bit, your football story and your life story. As you've reached 200, have you looked back, have you um, thought of anything more along the journey that you haven't previously reflected on? Oh, not really. I've been fortunate enough, as you mentioned, to have a couple of opportunities to share my journey and really thank the people that have been a big part of it along the way. And I feel like over 12 years, my game, my leadership has evolved. Um, and now sitting here as a 200-game player, I feel like I'm ready to embark on the next chapter of my career. So is that the main part of that next chapter, the, you know, the leading, which you've already been doing, but just getting that right and trying to get that ultimate prize? Yeah, I think that's accurate, Hutto. Um, when I was younger, I was fiercely competitive and just didn't want to give an inch to anyone and really wanted to be the absolute best player I could be. And now as a almost 30-year-old man playing 200 games, that sort of desire and will to win absolutely every contest um, has made way for really wanting our team um, to be, get the best out of them and trying to find my avenue to leadership and working with a young group. So I can feel that I'm maturing and evolving. The, the quality of the 200 games has been frightening, Nathan. A fantastic uh, effort. Well done and congratulations today. Is there a game that you look back on and say, that was my favourite game to play? You, you played so many high-quality games, but was there one? Oh, it's a hard question on the spot. I mean, I played a game round two down in Geelong, I think it was, 2015. All the midfielders had heaps of ball and everything just seemed to work that day. Um, and I've had sort of quarters along the way where you just feel absolutely invincible. But uh, there are, yeah, a number of matches across the journey which I look back on fondly. So, so when you talk about that, I feel invincible, what does, that, what does that mean? What does that look like for us watching it? Well, it's, it's sort of everything just happens. The ball comes to you, the goals go through, the marks stick, you see the game before it happens. Um, and sometimes it can happen, happen in the blink of an eye. I played down here a couple of years ago in 2019. My shoulder slipped out, I hadn't touched it. And <laughs> five minutes later, I kicked three goals in a quarter and just everything felt like it was working. So fingers crossed that that happens again today. <laughs> Nathan Dermott here. Congratulations on 200. It's been an absolute joy to watch you play 199 of them and good luck today. I, I should have asked you this first. Do you prefer Nathan or Nat? What's your, what's your preference? Uh, at my age, Derm, I really don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Now, tell us, we just saw some footage of you when you were a young, uh, strapping young man, about 15 kgs lighter than you are now. Even talented players at AFL think, gee, that person's good, he's better than me, uh, can I make it? When or is there a game that you thought to yourself, I've got this game, I know this game, I'm good enough to do it, if I turn myself on? Yeah, I think probably um, at the midway point of my second season, I started to be a med regular contributor in the midfield and um, and my impact on games seemingly each week um, was decent enough where I felt almost comfortable in my position, but it doesn't last too long even now, having played 200 games. You're always um, not far away from sort of slipping with your own standards. So you're never comfortable at this level, um, as you well know, and you're always looking for new ways to continue to improve. What's the burn, mate? There's so many ups. What's the burn for you that if it, oh, you know, we look at various injuries we've had and said, if only I'd zigged when I zagged at that moment. What is the burn for you? What could have you done better in what has been a career that's really put a foot wrong? 
Oh, it's an interesting question and probably not the way I tend to look at my life. I don't yep. really look back and think what could have been or where could I have gone differently. I've had a great experience so far um, and I hope the club's best footy and my best footy still remains ahead of me in some capacity. Um, and here, sitting here as a 200 game player, I have nothing but fond memories of my career. So, 200 games, and, and honestly, when I'm just going on personal, experience. when I got to 200, I thought I've got about 15 left in me, and, and I actually could count it. <laughs> turned out How, to be 10. Yeah, yeah, it turned out to be 11 more. <laughs> How many games has Nathan Fife, Nat Fife, whichever you prefer? Oh, uh, how many games has has that body got left? Yeah, I just spoke to Joel Corey. I said, when you got to 200, what did you think? And he played 270. And he said every game after 200 was a bonus. And I thought it was a really good answer. So sitting here with uh, a few ailments and a, and a winter rig, I suppose I'd call it. Um, I don't know. I'd love to get to 250 and beyond. But uh, at, at this stage, we'll try and finish this season and, and see where it leaves awesome. us. Awesome. They've had, they've had to set aside 10 minutes in the rooms. But look, they're going to do a promotion, look, a little video to celebrate your 200 games. It could go for a while, Nathan? <laughs> oh, let's see. <laughs> It'll be great viewing, I reckon. You have you have played like a pounding, pounding midfielder. How uh, we we know about the injuries, the shoulder. How has the body sustained that? I mean, you're impacted when you just belt into bodies, and that's been one of the brilliant things. You how has that physically taken its toll on that rig? Yeah, it's not. Uh... It, it's not uh, the ideal way to play if longevity is your aim. I got a text message from uh, Dr. Ken Withers that said, congrats on 200, never thought you'd get to 100 with the way that you play and your body the way that it is. So um, I have tried to implement some more efficient ways of going about it. I mentioned that in the media this week, trying to avoid some of those brutal, reckless collisions. Uh, but it just doesn't seem to work for me. I always find myself at the bottom of packs and involved in fairly heavy contacts. At this stage, I'm still standing on my two feet and pretty happy to be out here playing today. Good on you, mate. No point in being a sheepdog after 200. Stay in the middle of the pack, mate. Don't <laughs> skirt around the edges. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I think he's, he's probably right in that regard. I think. That, hey, Nat, congratulations again. A, a fantastic career so far. Good luck this afternoon and, and from here on in. Right. Awesome, mate. Well done. Thanks very much, James. Right Nat Fife, game what number 200. What a do, you remember, do you remember the game he's talking about? The, the Dangerfield Fife game? Yeah. So, so I, these are the numbers. That right? was the most incredible the, number. I had a close look. So Fife, he got the three votes. Dangerfield got two. Paddy had 38, one goals, one, nine clearances, six insides. Fife had 40, one goal, one, 14 clearances, yeah. 10 inside 50s. It was unbelievable. Yeah, Mid 20s uh, um, contested, 26. Yeah. Yeah, he's given us so much, a couple of brown lows, and I wonder where he could lead the Dockers this afternoon and for the rest of the season. Ben McAvoy, who will be opposed to him, will join us next.